Observe STP topology changes. You will observe how STP operates by default and how it reacts when faults occur. Switches have been added to the network out of the box. Cisco switches can be connected to a network without any additional action required by the network administrator. For the purpose of this activity, the bridge priority was modified. When STP is fully converged, the following conditions exist. All PCs have green link lights on the switched ports. Access layer switches have one forwarding uplink, a green link, to a distribution layer switch and a blocking uplink, the amber link, to a second distribution layer switch. Distribution layer switches have one forwarding uplink, green link, to a core layer switch and a blocking uplink, amber link, to another core layer switch. Examine the ARP process. Switch to a simulation mode. Okay, click here, simulation. Ping from PC1 to PC6. Use the Add Simple PDU tool to create a PDU from PC1 to PC6. Okay, choose this. Uh, this option, add simple PDU, click here, and click on the source PC1, and then on the destination PC6. Verify that ARP and ICMP are selected in the event list filters. Okay, ICMP and ARP in the event list. Click Capture Forward to examine the ARP process as the switched network learns the MAC addresses of PC1 and PC6. Okay, click here. Uh, capture, then Forward. But you can increase the speed, okay, more speed. And, and in my case, ARP is the green green square, the green message, okay, the green PDU. Notice that all possible loops are stopped by blocking ports. For example, the ARP request from PC1 travels from A1, D2 to C1, okay, A1, D2, C1 because STP is blocking the link between A1 and D1, no loop occurs. Okay, this port is blocked. The connection between A1 and D1 is uh, orange. Notice that the ARP reply from PC6 travels back along one path. Okay, and click here, capture then forward. Remember, this is ARP, the green PDU, A1, D2, C1, up here, C1, capture them forward. Again, click and now, PC6. Click here, go back using the same path to return and now click here and now PC1. Notice the ARP reply from PC6 travels back along one path. Explain. Okay. It is the only valid path when STP is blocking the redundant links. Record the loop free path between PC1 and PC6. Okay. A1, D2, C1, D3, 
A6. Okay, A6 and BC6. Examine the ARP process again. Below the S scenario 0 drop down list. Click new to create a scenario 1. Examine the ARP process again by pinning between two different pieces. Okay, here. Uh, okay, here. Uh, new. And you will create a scenario 1. And add the add simple PDU. For example, from PC3 the source and PC4 the destination. And capture them forward. A3, D2, C1, D3, A4, PC4. What part of the path changed from the last set of pings? Okay, it's another path. A3, D2, C1, D3, A4, and PC4. Test redundant in a switched network. Delete the link between A1 and D2. Okay, this link between A1 and D2. Between A1 and D2. Switch to real time. Okay, real time. Click here. The letter link between A1 and D2. Between A1 and D2. It takes some time for STP to converge and establish a new loop-free path. Because only A1 is affected, watch for the amber link on the link between A1 and D1 to change to green. Okay, and use uh, the LED and remove the link between A1 and D2. And remove this link click here and select and now you can see this amber light will be green and wait a moment okay now it's green pick between pc1 and pc6 okay again uh, after the link between A1 and D1 is active, indicated by a green light, switch to simulation mode and create a scenario 2, ping between PC1 and PC6 again. A first simulation, click here. Then, uh, new a scenario, new. Now you are uh, on a scenario 2. And ping between PC1 and PC6 again. Click here. Add simple PDU, PC1 the source, and PC6 the destination. Okay. Capture them forward, A1. Capture them forward, D1. C1. D3. A6. PC6. Record the new loop free path. A1, D1, C1, D3, A6, PC6. The LED link between C1 and D3. Switch to real time mode. Okay. Click here to real time. Notice that the links from D3 and D4 to C2 are amber. Okay. D3 and D4 to C2, both amber. Okay. D3, C2, amber, 
D4, C2, Amber. The latter link between C1 and D3. Okay, between C1 and D3, delete this link. Choose this tool, delete. No, and remove this between C1 and D3. Okay, click on select. It takes some time for STP to converge and establish a new loop free path. Watch the amber links on D3 and D4. Okay, and take a look to these links. Amber links will be green. And wait a moment. Okay, now this is green between D3 and C2. Which link is now the active link to C2? Okay, the link between D3 and C2. Fast Ethernet 01 on D3 and Fast Ethernet 02 on C2. Ping between PC1 and PC6. Simulation mode, click here, simulation. Create a scenario 3, okay, click on new. And now you are on scenario 3. Ping between PC1 and PC6 again. Okay, choose this. Add simple PDU, PC1 and PC6. Okay, record the new loop free path. Okay, capture them forward. A1, capture them forward. D1, click C1. D4, A6. PC6. Delete D4. Switch to real time. Okay, click here, real time. Notice that A4, A5, and A6 are all forwarding traffic to D4. A4, A5, and A6 forwarding traffic to D4. Okay, green up links. The let's switch D4. It takes some time for STP to converge and establish a new loop free path. Okay. Use this tool, delete and uh, delete D4. Click here. And then click on select. Watch for the links between A4, A5, and A6 to D3. Transition to forwarding. Green. Now and uh, look at these links between A4, A5, and and A6 to D3. They they are uh, orange, but will be green. All three switches should now be forwarding to D3. Okay, now, green indicators. Ping between PC1 and PC6. Simulation mode, click here, simulation. Scenario four, click on new. You are on a scenario four. Ping between PC1 and PC6. Use this tool. Add simple PDU, PC1 to PC6. This is the PDU. Record the new loop free path. Okay. PC1, capture them forward. A1, capture them forward. D1, click C1, C2, D3, A6. PC6. What is unique about the new path that you have not seen before? D3 is now the designated switch for packet forwarding. If PC1 would like to ping PC6, no redundant path below C2. Okay, no redundant path here. The let's see one. Real time. Click to real time. Notice that D1 and D2 are both forwarding traffic to C1. D1 and D2 forwarding traffic to C1. Delete C1. 
it takes some time for STP to converge and establish a new loop free path. Okay, and use this uh, to the let C1. Okay, click on select. Watch for the link between D1 and D2 to C2. D1 and D2 to C2. Links between D1 and D2 to C2, they are orange. And they will be green. Okay, uh, to transition to forwarding, green. Once converged, both switches should now be forwarding to C2, okay? Both are green. Ping between PC1 and PC6. Simulation mode, click here. New, scenario 5, click new, scenario 5. Ping between PC1 and PC6 again, and use uh, a simple PDU, PC1, PC6. Record the new loop free path. A1, D1, C2, D3, A6, PC6. Okay, thank you very much.